In this video, let's go through utilizing the Sheet Set Manager to help us automate some audit things that may not be necessarily part of the out-of-the-box solution and do some math using fields. Now, so in this template here or in this layout, I have several fields that are already been passed to the Sheet Set Manager, be it the page number and title that are being passed directly from the Sheet Set Manager. And my pages are numbered one through four. Now, in this example, let's say these board logs for Bridge Bureau, they require that we put a string of text on our sheets that's going to be sheet and then a number that they give us to start our sheet set in their larger sheet set. So let's say they have a plan that's going to have 200, 300 pages. These board logs are only part of it, and the rest of it's being done outside of your organization. So, but they don't want your sheet number to be um, the total number. They want yours to be one through four. They want it to be annotated here. I know it sounds odd, but it happens. And they've told us that our sheets are going to start at page 85 in their big set and that the big set has a total of 200 sheets. So how do we get that data in here in an automated fashion and also helps us future proof it for when they inevitably call us and tell us, oh, now there's 250 sheets and you're starting at page 97. So let's future proof it a little. And we're going to utilize fields to do that and some stuff in Sheet Set Manager. So we said we have at least two things that we need to try to automate, that total number and our bridge, what I'm going to call the bridge set or the big set start number so to do that let's come to our sheet set manager and i guess it's important to note that these layouts are already in a sheet set manager and um, we're going to go all the way to the top here at the top level of the sheet set right click and go to properties and you'll see here that i have already in this template has some custom properties we're going to make two more custom properties we're going to go to edit custom properties and let's add one. And let's call this total bridge sheets. This will be our big number. And let's add another one. That's called start bridge number. And I want both of these to be at the sheet set level. Not the sheet level, but the sheet set level. And hit OK. And OK. And now that I've added those, they're going to show up right here. So while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and put plug in those values we talked about. So let's say 200 and they want us to start at page 85. All right. Well, now we have variables. <clears throat> How do we pass them into it? Well, that total number is pretty easy. So let's do that first. It's just a direct call. So I'm going to double click this in text I have here. I'm going to back delete these. I'm going to go to up here at the top, my contextual ribbon, and say field. Under sheet set, whoops, under sheet set, and I set it at the sheet set level. So we're going to come to sheet set custom. And then this dialog box down here, I can say that, choose that value. Pay attention to this expression. We're going to come back to these here in a minute. I'm going to hit OK. And now I've got me a field that's smart. So, whoops, save my changes. So if I come in here and change this to 250, and region, it automatically updates. I guess now is a good time to say that if you are doing this type of work, it's wise to do it in the DWT, the template that you're going to cut sheets for before you do it, or else you'll have to manually copy these, which you can do. But uh, in this example, I'm doing it in a DWG where I've already cut them. It's just for beat of the video. But uh, if this is going to be future proof and you think you're going to use it again in the future, make sure you're doing it in your template file so that you won't have to replicate this. So now that we've got that, how do we get this page number? We said we want to start at 85. So I can't just pass that value. It's or else it'll say 85 on every sheet. We're going to do a little math. And when we have two number values, we can do the math between them. But we need that um, expression for that custom value. So I'm going to put in another M text real fast, just like cheat. And I'm going to insert a field. 
we're going to go to sheet set sheet set custom and we're going to insert that uh, starting bridge number and I'm only doing this so that I can get to this I'm going to now that I have that expression I'm going to copy it and I'm actually just going to cancel now that I have the expression I'm going to come down to my notepad and I'm going to paste that in so I have it come down a couple let's do the same thing for our current page so we've got current page already passed it our sheet number and here's the expression for it I'm going to copy it paste it in notepad all right well we've got now got the fancy code for those two fields let's do it so let's come to here now this is going to be that 85 plus our page number since mine are starting at one if yours isn't starting at one you may have your math will be different minus one so we're going to do 85 plus current sheet minus one since mine starting at one if i did current sheet plus the page number it would say starting at 86 and i want to say starting at 85. i could type in 84 but then you're going to come back and somebody's going to view it and say they started start at 85 why does it say 84. so that's why i'm building this math in i want to delete this x insert field and this time we're going to go to objects and do a formula now i have this let's open our notepad we'll pull it over a little we said we wanted it to be that variable which is the first one the starting bridge number i'm going to copy it I'm going to paste it. Now it's seeing, you see how it shows it as gray in a field. It's going to show the value that you've got plugged in, but it's putting that code in the background. Plus one. Whoops, nope. Minus one plus our current sheet number. Control C. Control V. And I'm going to hit OK. So now it says 88. So now if I, since I've already got these, I'm going to uh, copy this about 0, comma 0. Let's come over here to our first page, which I can't do. My bad. I'm going to select it and control shift V, control shift C, and copy it about 0, comma 0. Come over to page 1. Control shift V and paste it at zero comma zero so it's in the same spot. Regrettably, that's a block. And I'll explode it. Now if I regen, that says 85. And if I paste it on the others, it would number forward and say 88. Now, something to note is that I did math there, true math, between two number fields. If this said 4C, so I'll change this. Um, whoops rename and renumber this to say 4C or let's say it's some standard numbering of like C301 and hit OK when I regen I'm going to get an error it cannot do math between strings you can do math between string values um, using lisps and other commands but the straight out of the box easy math that I'm showing in this video, you cannot pass. So this only works for numeric values. And just that easy, I have uh, future-proofed this and helped the automated numbering. One less thing I've got to double click and do manually and risk those errors. And you can have as many of these custom fields and many equations as you want on each sheet. Just remember, do it in your template first before you cut your sheets and it's gonna save you even more time. If you found this helpful, please put in comments. Feel free to like and subscribe.